NASA is searching for life on other planets in our galaxy to address one of the oldest questions. Are we alone? Looking up from Earth at night, we see our galaxy, the Milky Way, that includes more than 100 billion stars, one of which is our own, the Sun. Scientists have discovered thousands of planets orbiting other stars. Could any of these planets have the right conditions to support life? Our Sun has eight planets in its solar system, each shown here to scale. Only one planet has just the right conditions to support life as we know it. Why? Water is essential to all known forms of life. Scientists call a planet with the right conditions for liquid water a Goldilocks planet. Remember the children's story where Goldilocks went searching for porridge that was not too hot or too cold, but just the right temperature? If a planet is too close to the sun, it is too hot and any water would evaporate. Too far away, the planet is too cold and the water would be ice. Earth's nearest neighbor, Venus, is the right distance from the sun. A recent study found that being closer to the sun caused Venus to lose its water during formation. Today, the atmosphere on Venus is mostly carbon dioxide, which traps heat. Its average temperature is almost 900 degrees Fahrenheit, much too hot for water in any form. Earth's other neighbor, Mars, is further from the sun and has little atmosphere. Could life exist there? During the day, Mars is a comfortable 70 degrees Fahrenheit near its equator, but drops to minus 100 degrees at night, well below the freezing temperature of water. NASA's Journey to Mars mission is looking for clues of past or present water and life. For example, in 2013, soil samples from Curiosity rover led to the exciting discovery that Martian rock contains water molecules. Soon after, when mudstone from an ancient lake was heated, it released organic chemicals, a key requirement for life. Scientists are still investigating whether life could exist on Mars, and robots are paving the way for human explorers. Earth is the third planet from the sun. Here it is, our water planet. Land is brown and green, oceans are blue, and clouds are white. Notice how Earth is mostly covered with water water full of life. Earth is a Goldilocks planet, the right distance from the sun for temperatures that allow liquid water, and the right size to hold an atmosphere with the right chemical composition and energy sources to sustain life. Earth's atmosphere works like insulation, scattering some incoming sunlight back to space during the day and reflecting some of the radiated heat back to Earth at night keeping our planet from getting too hot or too cold. About 50% of incoming solar energy reaches the Earth's surface. The rest is either scattered back to space by clouds and surfaces that reflect light or absorbed by our atmosphere. Energy reaching the Earth's surface warms the land and oceans. The Earth radiates some of this heat back towards space and loses the rest by thermal conduction, convection, and evaporation. Some outgoing heat is absorbed by clouds and gases in the atmosphere and re-emitted back to Earth, keeping it from getting too cold at night. We call this balance of incoming and outgoing radiation Earth's energy budget. Day-night temperatures on Earth vary as little as 1 degree Fahrenheit over the oceans to 50 degrees or more over deserts, a very comfortable climate for life on Earth. Like Earth, Our moon is the right distance from the sun, but it has no atmosphere. Without an atmosphere, the temperature extremes vary from more than 200 degrees Fahrenheit in sunlight to less than minus 300 degrees in the shade, making it too hot and too cold for liquid water. Are there any other planets like Earth out there? NASA continues to explore our solar system and others. Planets around other stars are called exoplanets. Those in the Goldilocks zone of their stars are prime candidates for having liquid water and maybe life. Scientists are studying space telescope data on thousands of exoplanets recently discovered in the Milky Way. As we search for life on other planets in our galaxy, NASA continues to monitor Earth using sensors and satellites. This is the Aquasatellite in its daily orbit around Earth 
collecting information about water, plants, and gases. From the top of our atmosphere to the bottom of our oceans, there is still a lot left to learn about the processes that support life on Earth.